Good morning. Another beautiful morning in West Texas. The sun is out, the birds are chirping, and there is just a hint of a breeze. That is awesome. Uh, getting ready to go to sleep. Got a little burst of energy. Thought, great time for a pipe. Great time to break in, for the first time, this Phil Rivara pipe that I purchased from the man uh, weeks ago. Mm. And figured I'd uh, add another, a, a crack, I want to crack into a tin uh, for my new, you know, for my, my first impression series, Cracked. Um, I got two of these things in the mail the other day. The Rattrays blends. I got some Marlin Flake. For gentlemen only. Sorry, ladies. And uh, Howl of the Wind. Howl of the Wind. Now, ever since I started smoking pipes many years ago, I, I like to lurk on the, uh, the old forums. And Rattrays blends, particularly these two, uh, they got a lot of love. So... I've never, it's just something I've always, I just haven't had a chance to do it yet, to get them yet. I've always, you know, kind of just hanging around the McClellans and the, the McBarons and the, and the GLPs's. So, and some of the Sam Gawith. I'm not a fan of the Sam Gawith. Sorry, Sammy. But let's try Hell of the Wind. For gentlemen only. All right. So it's a hundred gram tin. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. Ah. So here you go. You got kind of a broken flake, it looks like. No? No. It's more of a it's a ribbon cut. It's a ribbon cut. It's it's ready rubbed. Mmm. Uh oh. Crap. I spilt some out. Well, I'm not going to have a huge pipe. I'm going to load up just a little bit. I'm going to break this. I'm, this doesn't have a bowl coating. It's brand new. I'm not going to smoke a full bowl of this outright. Let's see. This is this is a Virginia Perique, I do believe. And this is just a classic matured Virginia smell. It's real sweet. It's got that deep, dark plum, those prunes, maybe a little, maybe just a slight bit of cherry in there, you know, that natural Virginia. Mmm, delicious. We're gonna, we're gonna pause while I load up a pipe and a smoker. Mmm. Are you back with me? You never went anywhere. Mmm. The moisture, the moisture of this, it's real soft and springy. I'd say it's just about right as far as uh, moisture. Maybe just a tad bit moist. It uh, it might take just a little, might take just a little bit extra flame to get it lit. Mm. Great pipe, by the way. So the Howl of the Wind, or the Howl of the Wind. A lot of Virginia in there. Nice, smooth, and sweet. You got those dark fruit flavors in there. And then I believe the Perique in there. It's giving it, I wouldn't call it spiciness. I would give it, there's like a, I guess, I tasted like a hint of cedar in there. I'm not trying to be a... I'm not trying to be an elitist or anything like that. I'm just trying to expand my palate. I didn't really read any uh, tasting notes on this thing. Let me... Mm. Mm. Okay, there's a little bit of spiciness there, but it's good. This is not harsh. Mm. Just, just an enjoyable smoke. I'm, uh, you know, I'm not really a, a big in-depth review guy, but it's good. I like it. 
Uh, I'll be spending some time with that. And I got, uh, I ordered four total Rattray's blends, and I'm pretty excited to try them all. Uh, from what I understand, they sure know how to handle their Virginias. And I think this uh, Phil Rivara pipe is just, it's built, it's made for Virginias. Got that narrow, small bowl, kind of narrow, tapers in. Mm. Very nice. Okay. Well, that's, that's that, I guess. Get you a Phil Rivara pipe, get you some Rattrays. Get you a, an old boy. I mean, these things are amazing. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, if you did. Smell my beard.